Wow, what a shocker. <laughs> Every time Game Press comes out with a new tier list, I get sent it over and over again because I'm asked to make a video about it and ask what my opinions are on it. But let me just tell you again, whenever it comes down to tier lists, guys, and whenever it comes down to questions about it, I always have to this to say about it. Tier lists don't matter. Do what you want. Pretty much make whatever you can. If you want to make one of those lesser quote unquote tiered uh, units viable or make them powerful, go right ahead. You can probably do that. But uh, let's just take a look. See at this, because why not? It's kind of become a tradition. And <clears throat> Well, let me just say, <laughs> uh, what, a, what a surprise. So, as you can see in the upper left, in Tier 1, in the sword unit, for <laughs> there's there's Reinhard. Yep, I, I bet you were expecting that maybe, just maybe, he wouldn't be that high up there. Maybe there would be something different, but no, he has the mix of a lot of great skills. Uh, one namely his weapon. Two, his stats are just pretty good all around. I mean, good defense, somewhat good resistance, decent attack and things like that with his weapon. It really just moves him along. Not only that, but since he's a cavalry, you know, unit, well, he his the sky kind of is the limit there. Uh, he can be buffed up to unknown levels if you manage to put any goads, wards, hones or fortifies, whatever you really want to go with. And well, that's that's pretty much no surprise there. What a shock, right? Uh, Leaf is down there at tier two, which I'm going to just say maybe because I don't really necessarily agree too much with that. I feel Leaf is a pretty viable unit and he may be a little bit higher than some of those, at least in tier two, because I've, I've got to I've gotten to experience, you know, a lot more with him, obviously. And as a unit, Jeez, he does really well with what he does. Like, honestly, it's <laughs> it's kind of un unnerving. But, uh, you know, outside of that, the only thing I can think <laughs> would be a detriment is that, well, his sword is nice, but it could be a little bit better. The one thing I do disagree with this in this, at least when it comes to uh, the units, is that Roy down there is at tier three still. I don't know if that's because they haven't really updated too much with him, but uh all in all, I feel like he could probably be bumped up just a little bit because that new refine is something that just really works so well with him. If you manage to have something like just a counter, some other abilities out there, he can just he he can tear things up really well with his new weapon. Just just a general, you know, <laughs> look over that. Um, the one thing that does kind of surprise me uh Nana, but it makes sense. Nana over there on the right side, as you can see, tier two. She's right over there with Clarine and Priscilla, but honestly, she's she's pretty much kind of aligned with Clarine. She's a little bit better, and it really is just an obvious thing, honestly. I, I don't know why I didn't think about that, but then again, Nana, you know, staff unit, if you happen to build her really well, you could do things like Pain Plus, Savage Blow, all that fun stuff, you know the good old razzle dazzle as they like to call it. And it pretty much is what I assumed. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is that Olwen is, <laughs> God, green tome units. Uh, they really don't have anyone that just stands above. Apparently I'm not too sure about that, but uh, Olwen is still an incredibly strong unit with that new blade tome. And obviously she's going to be a lot better in the cavalier spot. So tier two works really well for her. Kind of, a, you know, Sharina's a little bit, it's a little bit weird to see Sharina up there in that list while Nino's down further. Maybe I'm just being a little bit of a, a bossy britches there, but that's just what I see. Um, outside of that, well, <laughs> I'm kind of sad to see uh, <laughs> Bulge Fawns down there at tier three, but that's just, that's the way the cookie crumbles, guys. And <laughs> I, I, I have a few disagreements with me, but that's just, that's just me. I mean... All in all, when it comes to tier list, there was really no surprise. I really expected Reinhardt to just be up there at the top, and I figured that was where I was going to place him. He's just, he's really good. Add distant counter, give him a bunch of buffs, and he can do really, really well. You know, I, I, that's what happens when you give someone a double phased, you know, weapon that can double whenever... You know, it's double phased in both ways. You know, it doubles in certain phases, being both of them and it doubles. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say there. Either way, it's pretty strong. Uh, Fallen Grima, of course, is now down where I expected her to be. And I'm talking about, you know, female 
fallen Grima. But, uh, you know, Kagro, pretty much where I expected. I still don't know why Soth is down at tier three. I really feel he could be a, at tier two. Come on, Game Press. Come on. But anyways, yeah. So there's my review of that, if you can call that a review. Honestly, I, I still think Game Press has the best representation when it comes to this, but I always have to, again, say it and always say it loud. Do what you want to do. Because that's what really matters. And as always, check out the description for all fun things. Leave a like if you want to. It's just, it's fun to take a look at tier lists every so often, but it's not really that much of a shock. So, catch you nerds later. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video.